What's up YouTube? This is Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog again. This particular vlog is about doing things on God's time and not your own time. This is, it has nothing to do with religion. Okay, this is just strictly about humanity and mankind point blank. Okay. I wanted to make this particular vlog because I've experienced a couple things personally that has kind of allowed me to have a better understanding about doing things not in my own particular time when I feel that it's best for me, when I feel that it's the best option for me, and kind of waiting until I get a supernatural uh, uh, a supernatural kind of motivation to, to actually take action on a specific thing that I may have in mind that I want to do, okay? In order to do things on God's time and not your own time, it does require a certain level of patience. It requires a certain level of uh, uh, restraint as far as, you know, uh, having control over your emotions and um, you know overall that's that's what it takes and I wanted to kind of give this testimony without giving too much detail but I wanted to kind of give you all an example of how this situation works okay alright so about a year about two years ago right there was a specific thing that I really wanted, okay? I'm not going to get into detail about what it is. But there's a specific thing that I really, 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 really wanted, okay? I had just enough money to get this thing, okay? Now, as, human, as humans, right, our natural instinct would be like, look, you got the money right here, the exact amount, <clears throat> this thing costs the exact amount that you have. Logically, now once you get this thing, you'll have to build back up and replace the money that you used to get it. Once you get this thing, yes, you'll still be able to pay your, finance, your bills. You know, but you you will have exhausted a, your, a substantial amount of savings in order to get this particular item. OK, so then you sit in there, right? You're looking at this thing. Our natural instinct is like, look, if I get this thing, I could change my world. If I go on and get it, I could in about six months to a year, this particular thing will start to manifest so many great things in my life. I'll be able to use this particular tool, this particular item, this particular thing to make a substantial amount of incredible changes in my life. Logically and emotionally and physically, it made sense to make the purchase. But spiritually, I wasn't getting a reading, okay? Spiritually, I wasn't getting that, that, that move, you know, that, that force, that, that, you know, how, how Luke Skywalker got the force. It's the force where you can reach out your hand and your lifesaver just fly up in your hand. I wasn't getting that force. I wasn't, when I reached out my hand, the, the item wasn't just going whoo, and flying into my hand. You know what I mean? I wasn't getting that spiritual pull in, to, to make the move. Everything else was in line. The finances was in line. My mind was in line. My heart was in line. My, my, my physical body was in line. I was in position physically to push necessary buttons to make these things happen. But I wasn't getting that spiritual, it's time, do it. You know what I mean? Okay, so with that being said, I looked at this thing. 
I kept it in my radar. I kept it in front of my eyes every day. I look at it for a few hours. I read everything about it. I did research on it. I watched videos about it. I pretty much dived in completely to this particular thing. I found, I tried to find out everything that it was possibly to know. How I could use it to do this, how I could use it to that, to do that, what I can connect to it to make it do some amazing things, you know, breaking the whole thing down into pieces. Research. Sometimes before we just go out and do things, we got to dig deep. You know, that'll give us time to allow the spiritual, the spiritual, um, answers or the spiritual response to get there but i wasn't getting a spiritual response so you know what i ended up i took that money and instead of me getting the item that my heart and mind and physical body uh, desired i ended up taking it and investing it into something totally different i said you know what let me invest into this first and then I'll rebuild, I'll re-prepare, and then we'll, we'll take another look at this particular situation, okay? So we did that. Boom. I let it go. I let the, 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 the desire, the physical, the spiritual, the, the not spiritual, excuse me, the physical connection, the mental connection to this particular thing, I let it go. I separated myself from it. Every now and then, every month or so, I would go back and I would look into it and I would more get excited about it, but I wouldn't make a move on it. I wasn't in a position to make a move on it. I didn't have the means to make a move on it because I took the, those ends and I, I directed it into a different investment. Now, the investment I put it into was going to allow me to, to start making it, getting immediate progress, immediate success. A little faster than this item. Now, this item was going to allow me to make take success to a level that may have been higher than the level of what I was getting immediately. But the fact that I could get immediate progress from this particular going in this direction, that's what I did. All right, so I'm not going to keep ranting on about it. All right, let's get back to the story. So... <clears throat> I waited. I'm like, God, let me know when it's time. I, I, I'm all, I've already made up a decision. This is what I want. I already made up a decision. This is what I'm going to do. At this particular point, we're waiting on you. When you tell me it's time, we're going to do it. When you tell me it's time, we're going to do it. At the same time, it ain't time right now because now I have to build and, 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 and build and build and build and put myself in a position where I can do it again because I invested into a different uh, uh, opportunity. Time progresses, time progresses, time progresses, right? Now, two years later, nah, maybe about, yeah, pretty much, close to two years, maybe like a year and eight months later, right? Boom! I look up and I do resource research, excuse me, on that same item. Come to find out they created a whole new thing, okay? It's the same exact thing that I wanted, right? But it's it's better. Okay? Not only is it better than what I was about to get, like, I'm going to tell you something. If I would have got that thing and then 18 months later, this thing come out or how many months later, 20 months later, this thing came out. I would have been pissed. I would have been like, I got this thing. And now they came out with this thing. This is the thing I really need better than the thing I've been desiring you know what I mean? As an example. So to make a long story short, let me get back to the story. So they create a whole new piece of, I'll just say equipment. I'll say that, okay? They create a whole new piece of equipment. Now this piece of equipment, right? It does everything this 
thing that I wanted months ago, uh, almost a year or so ago does. But guess what? It's, it's $1,300 less than what I would have paid if I would have made the move before God told me to, as an example, okay? So here's the thing, so I'm doing research, I'm doing research, doing research, I'm learning about this new uh, this new design uh, that they created, right? And I'm like, oh man, this does everything this thing does, but it's like so much, it's less expensive, it's smaller, more compact, so it's a situation where the thing that I wanted is stationary. When you put it somewhere, it stays there. It's not a situation where you can go here, go there. You can travel with it. You can go state to state with it. You can, um, you can put it, I mean, it's stationary. You put it right here and it doesn't go anywhere, okay? Then they come out with this thing, does everything this thing does, but it's, it's, it's mobile. You can, you can go places with it. You're not limited to where you can use it to produce those, those, um, you know, those opportunities that you were getting it to produce in the first place. So I continue to do research. I continue to re do research. I continue to do research, right? So I do some checking. I check my financial situation. And guess what? Everything added up. Everything added up. So I'm like, okay, so we're back at the situation that we were at two years ago. The item is available. The, the funding to get the item is available. My mind, my heart, my physical body is available to make it happen. Now it's going to be based on the spirit. Now God has to tell me it's time to do it. Okay? Now, everybody receives messages from a higher power in different ways. But in my particular situation, the way I received the higher power, the way I understood it from a spiritual perspective that I was being told to do it was by this. Check this out. All right, so I said, okay, let me make some phone calls. Let me see where it is. Let me see where it is. Let me see where I need to go to get this particular thing, okay? Check this out, man. All right, so I make some phone calls. Boom, 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 boom. Do you have it? No. 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 All right. I'm like, all right, nobody has it. They like, it didn't even come out yet. It didn't come out yet. It's not even out yet. It's not even out yet. So you can't get it. It's not out yet. I'm like, oh, damn, it ain't even out yet. I'm like, well, I'm watch. I'm doing research and all these people online, they're doing <clears throat> reviews and, and they're explaining this thing and they have it. This person had it, this person had it, this person had it. You know, um, but these were all people from the company that creates the item that I'm mentioning to you guys. Okay. All right. So to make a long story short, nobody has. They said it ain't come out yet, right? <clears throat> so I go online. I do. I'll go to a website that produced that that as a direct distributor of this particular item. Okay. Go on a website. They like we have two of them. Okay, we have two of them, but they release tomorrow. Tomorrow, like the very next day. Like, how is it that when I actually decided to take action to pursue it, it was the day before the actual release date? Like it was perfectly strategically, like I was right on time for the release of the item and wasn't aware of the release. I would, nobody said it was released in this date. It released all over the world at different dates, different times, 
in different states. It's all different. But in my particular state, the day that I decided to make the phone calls, do the research, and take action, it was the day before the release. That's a sign to me. That is not something that just mysteriously happens. Okay? Boom. Next thing you know. All right, so they show me where two of the items are. Two of them. Only two. And the whole state, only two. And I'm, I'm, about, I'm about 45 to 50 minutes away from it. This item, though, is worth that distance, okay? So to make a long story short, nine out of ten times. All right, so what happens is, okay. It's the day before. No, 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 check this out. All right, let me back up. The day that I, all right, so the day that I called the store, okay, to find, to talk to them about the item. All right, first I saw it online. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, let me back up, I messed up. All right, so the day that I actually, I did all the research and nobody said they had it, but the day that, they, that I found out that two people had it, mysteriously was the day that it was released. All right, so it was that morning, okay? Let me back up, the morning that the item release was the morning that I actually looked into the store to get the item. Okay? So it was perfect timing. Like when things fall into place perfectly, strategically, like adding up without your participation in it, that's when you know the spirit is moving you to do it. You know what I'm saying? So to make a long story short, I was like, oh snap, it's two of them. So I called the store. They said, we got two of them. I said, check this out. I'm on my way. And I need you to hold one of them for me. Hold it for me. He said, cool. What's your name? Gave him my name. I said, what's your name? He told me his name. He said, he going to hold the item for me. Right? Check this out. So, boom. I checked my finances, right? I got a certain amount of finances that I'm uh, uh, that are mandatory to be to be for emergency situations. I got a number in the back of my head that if I don't have this number, I can't do anything. If I got this number and anything over that number, I got a little flexibility to play with. But I have a specific number in the back of my mind that if I have that number, anything over that I can play with, if I don't, if I have that number and it's nothing over that number, I can't make any moves, okay? Now check this out. I check my financial situation, my portfolio. I have exactly the amount over my safe number to get this particular thing and, and still have my safety cushion number amount. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, so my finances are adding up, okay? My, my heart is in line, my mind is in line. So then another thing, this particular day was my scheduled day off. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how great you think Cheney Live is, Yes, I do still have a place of employment, right? Check this out. It was it released on my one day off. This wasn't like, oh, I had a couple days off, three days, two days, back to back. I had one day to do it. And it was the, the day that I had to do it, and I could do it, was the day that I was off. Perfect. How perfect could that be? Check this out. It goes even deeper than that. Okay, so check it. So I get in there, I hit the road, I'm on my way to the location. I'm on my way to the location, I'm on my way to the location. I get to the location. I walk in, I say, I'm looking for so-and-so. He said, that is me. 
I said, I am so-and-so. I'm Chaney Live. He said, Chaney Live right this way. Red carpet service. Walk me straight over to the counter. I didn't have to go in. The, he didn't have to go in the back. He didn't have to go anywhere. The item was sitting on the counter with the receipt, everything laying on it, waiting for me. And guess what he told me? He said, you know what? You made it just in time because the other one that we had out of the two, someone just came and got that one. So by the time I got there, the one sitting on the counter was the last one in the whole region that could, that could be purchased. And it was sitting there. It was the one that God specifically had prepared. He had it built. He had it prepared. He had it designed. He had it put together. He had it laid out. He, it was specifically made for me. And it has made a difference in my life instantly. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Chaney Live. This is my testimony on doing things on God's time versus your own personal time. How perfect these things can be. This thing gave me all the benefits that I was looking for. And it saved me, it, say, it, was, it was less than double the cost that I would have paid making my, moving on my own emotion, physical existence, and, 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 and mine. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Chaney Live. Back at y'all with another vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to subscribe. Continue to uh, support the channel man leave your comments if it's anything that you want us to address directly please let us know and uh, we love y'all and we look forward to seeing y'all on this journey as we move forward it's been a pleasure and I will see you on the next vlog out <laughs>